Hopefully, you know, memories just come back. Um, you know, the the drive was was always something that was very special to me. But you know, as you come back through, you go to your person. You know, you, you probably forget of how special it is, and so the the, the visual of seeing the drive again. Um, you know, the the P department has has remained unchanged apart from from Brian has left, and that was probably a. a a, a big change for me because Brian was such a presence around here, but yet you know all the other P department have grown and they're 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 the same people, but they they they're they're a little bit different. Um, and then outside of that, the the culture in the, the in the school I don't think has ever changed. Um, there, there's always been that that deep rooted um sense of togetherness and the deep rooted sense of you know that this is a special place. Campbell was, you know, the, uh, must, the, the reason I always wanted to come back is of how special this place was to me because it made me into the person that I am. I'm not very confident and I always say that it was the inspiration of the teachers from an extracurricular point of view it inspired me to go on and work hard in the in the classroom. So, you know, I knew what working hard was on a on a on a sporting field, but I had to translate that into a classroom and um, I'll be forever grateful to the teachers here to, you know, as to how much they inspired me to go on and, and work hard to to get to where I was. And um always the again, you know, I from a very early age, my dad was a teacher, my brother was a teacher, um, but you know, when my brother went here too, and he had all the teachers that, that I had, and um, it was definitely their energy and enthusiasm uh, was infectious, and um, I, you know, have always inspired to be like them as as a teacher, and and hopefully one day inspire the pupils that I teach like they they inspired me. So that you know, it was their energy and enthusiasm for, for the subject and for sport that inspired me to go on and want to be a, a PE teacher and then, and then come back here. I suppose the big thing and the strongest thing that, that about Campbell and it probably a, it was a, a huge credit to Brian Robinson, he strengthened academic PE here a lot and we now offer such a broad range of, of, of academic PE either at the A level or the B tech, GCSE and we have as many classes I think as, as other schools would have and we offer such a broad range and that you know a, a huge part of that was Brian and now and now Gareth Fry is taking that on and, and strengthening it even more. So um I guess it, it it's just that um deep rooted passion that I have for for Campbell and, and and for Campbell rugby and it was a big decision you know coming from Blackrock and I learned so much there and it was a school that was really good for me and I I developed myself as a coach and um, but at the same time I've always wanted to to come back and give back to to Campbell as and hopefully go on and and. and inspire pupils to be as, as passionate and even more passionate than I am um, for, for Campbell. So it's always been that deep rooted passion that, that's brought me back. And then from a rugby point of view, you know, it was my dream as a, as a P7 and, P, and a P6 to go on and, and win a school's cup for Campbell. And, and that's, that's now what I want to keep doing, but it's all being in a, in a different role. And, um, and I guess, what I've learned over the years though is that that's just the end goal, that's just the product, but it's the journey and the process to that that is the special um, and, and is where the work has to go in and the only other thing that you can do is focus on the next training session and how you can improve and how we can get better and how we can get tighter as a group. It's, it, it's funny now, you know, when, when you look back at it, it's it's the journey that you remember, um, and not necessarily the end, the, the winning of the school's cup, albeit that that was great, but you remember the togetherness of the team, and you remember trips away together. So we went to England to play in St Joseph's Festival, and th there was probably there, there's one moment in that where you know there's a there was a bit of a of a scuffle, and I'll be honest, and I felt that brought the team together. 
uh, because we all wanted to to do it for one another and we were at that stage in November we were maybe a, individuals in a, in a team sport and you know when when that was one moment where we just came together and St Joseph brought us together um, and then it's just special memories of me being in your own line defending against Methody and it, it, the, the thing about team sport is you have a collective goal but you have so many different individuals who are different personalities and just sort of joy of trying to bring everybody together under one banner and um, that's something that that's uh, is very unique and it's very unique about schoolboy rugby and all you can ever all I ever think of is I'd love to be back there I'd love to be back experiencing that again because there's never rugby like it um, afterwards because you share that common goal but yet you're different personalities and um, it's those special memories of, of being um, on your line and, and knowing that the person beside you wants it as much as you do that is, is very very special This year they've, they've worked incredibly hard and um, they've, you know, they've been a credit to themselves, to their families and to the school and now it's just up to them to go and, and, and um, produce and just enjoy the, the moment, enjoy the work they put in and, and go and, and seize the opportunity.